Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our final amateur fight of the night is a title fight. These two fighters are competing for the vacant Dragon House amateur flyweight title belt, which I have here. So please welcome the two challengers in the blue corner fighting for PF MMA, Jaime Mora. Nine, weighing at 125 pounds with a record of five and one, fighting of a PF MMA, Napa, California, entering the Dragon House cage. It's at Dragon House or URCC, Bellator, everywhere they go, they always bring it. So, shout out to all Dragon House, uh, to Dragon House fight team, period. Jaime Moore Munoz. His opponent also seeking that title belt, Ulysses Molina. Ulysses Molina, age 22, finding out a dragon house in California, in, in San Francisco, California, standing at a five foot six, weighing in 125 pounds with an undefeated record of four and oh. Right at the top with each other, so man, this should be a very good championship fight here for the both these men's weight fighters. It's it's the main event of the amateur fight card. Absolutely. These guys show the experience. They are both tough, resilient fighters. Both at the peak of their right, game. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is both wants to be crowned king. Main event. Challenger number one in the blue corner. He's 23 years old and fights for PFMMA out of Napa, California. His amateur record is six and one. He is the gentleman, Jaime Mora. His opponent, challenger number two, Fighting out of the Dragon House in San Francisco and TriStar. He's 23 years old as well. He is undefeated as an amateur with five wins and no losses. Ulysses Molina. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for your main event. Amateur bout of the evening at 135 pounds. Ulysses Molina taking on Jaime Mora Munoz for the vacant bantamweight championship. Man in the middle of the referee in this match is John Toll. The referee for this title fight is John Toll. John Toll. And here we go. Both fighters look ready. Molina in the red corner. Munoz in the blue corner. Molina kick land by Molina there. Stinging leg kick by Molina. Oh, nice one two lands there by Molina. Muna with that outside leg kick. Both fighters feeling each other out, taking their time, showing that you know they have some experience. Munoz shoots Munoz for, the shoot for, the, for the double leg. He's going to get it. Is he? He got it. Beautifully executed double leg takedown there by uh, Jaime Munoz there. Melina gets his leg out. He's, he's planning to stand. You, uh, Munoz keeping top position, keeping that pressure. Melina has an arm around the neck. Hard Nothing shots. concrete. Yeah, hard shots landed there by Jaime Melina. Or excuse me, Ulysses Molina. Munoz looking to take the back here. Munoz has taken the back. He has one hooked in. Now he has two. He's landing some heavy shots from, from the back. Nice scramble by, by, by Malinia. He's got one leg up. He's trying to go for a triangle. 
But Munia saw it, defended it, and now he's in side control. Yeah, great transition there to side control by Munoz. Molina looking to frame up a submission, lets it go for now. Molina's trying with that triangle, trying to get that triangle, you know, maybe attacking, just, try, just try, trying to stay active on the ground, going, going for that triangle back after back, but Munia stocks him up. But Molina does a good job tying his hands up, not, a, not allowing Munoz to throw, throw bombs, but... Hard shot lands there, though, for Munoz. Munoz doesn't want to let Molina him up. back to his feet. But Molina is up. Both fighters are up. Molina's taking it back to the center of the cage, getting his back off the cage. Munoz with an inside leg kick. Nice combination land there by uh, Molina. Melina circles away. Nice one, two. Munoz with some nice leg kicks to the body, and he tries to shoot in, but end of the round comes in. I would say it's a hard, it's a hard round to, to judge, but I would give it to Munia with that takedown. Yeah, definitely back and forth round there. Uh, both of them on point with the stand-up, but the difference was definitely that takedown. Um, Munoz was able to take the fight to the ground and maintain top position for a little, at least a little, a little over a minute of that round, as well as take the back of Molina. So considering those factors, I'm going to have to give that round in favor of, of Jaime Mora Munoz at least 10 to 9. I want to see how Munoz try to get that takedown, or will he mix it up, or will he go back to the ground? Nice inside leg kick lines to the body there by Munoz. Melina with that, with that, with that straight right, but he, he missed. Yeah, he and just overextended himself a little bit too much. Missed with over and right, and now this is where he does not want to be. Absolutely. Munoz gladly just grabbed on, and say thank you for going to the ground for me. Melina is working his way up. He's worked his way up. Oh, he went for a straight. Is he going to get it? Looking for a leg lock here. I think he was looking for a knee bar, but he's trying to go for, uh, I think, an ankle lock. The thing about amateurs, I don't even think you can do that at, at the amateur le level as far as knee bars and... and Kill hooks and uh, ankle locks go. But I do notice that these amateurs are not wearing uh, a shin guard. You know what? You're absolutely right. Maybe this is like a semi-pro. I'm not sure because these amateurs are not wearing shin guards. Yeah. So I think leg lock may be legal. Munio is doing a good job controlling Melina on the ground. But Melina works his way up, but Munoz drags him right back down with that nice, with that nice takedown. Now working him with some nice shots from the bot, from the top. Melina is trying to work his way up. M Munoz doing a good job keeping Melina down. Trying to work from guard here is Munoz. Molina doing a good job keeping his opponent close, not allowing him to posture up and do too much damage here. Yeah. Tying him up is a good job, but really I want to see Molina, you know, push Munoz off and get up and yeah. start striking to implement his game plan. But yeah. it looks like he might, he's going for the triangle. He's been trying to go for the triangle all night, uh, but Munoz has, has seen it come in and, and defends it well and lands some heavy shots from the top. Molina back to his feet. This is where he needs to keep the fight. Ulysses Molina needs to keep the fight standing. That, that is where his strength is. That, that's where he's going to win this fight. But Mooney is doing a good job, you know, adding kicks in, mixing it up, going high, going low, just waiting for his moment to shoot in, to tie up the fight. Nice head kick there. Ah! 
Nice body kick by Munoz. Well, that's definitely another 10-9, uh, <laughs> at least, in favor of Jaime Munoz for that round. Once again, got the fight to the mat, was able to dominate on the, dominate on the mat. Uh, Molina did get back to his feet, but even on the stand-up, uh, you know what? Munoz was not slacking on his stand-up either. He threw some great combinations, great head kicks. Definitely. So, uh, he's, tr he's mixing it up. Yeah. He's, he's, I think he's confusing Munoz, confusing uh, Molina by mixing the striking so well with his takedowns. I agree. I definitely agree. I, I don't think Molina was expecting uh, Munoz to have such good striking, such good stand-up. Yeah. Welterweight Championship bout. Munoz versus Molina. It really comes down to the willpower. If Melina wants this belt, he has to do something and do something now. Munoz, on the other hand, needs to just continue with his game plan. And he does exactly that. Yeah, Munoz is timing on those Adams takedowns. Adams pressures, and, 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 and when he sees the opportunity for the takedown, he shoots and gets the takedown. Yeah, his timing, his timing on these takedowns have been flawless. As soon as Molina swings or throws a combination, he, he ducks down, it changes levels, and goes for the double. Job well done, well executed. Now all Munoz has to do is just tie, tie, tie Molina up and maintain top position for this round, and he, he, has, the, he has the goal, he has the nod. And not get submitted. Not get submitted, that's, that's the important part. The fight isn't done until the bell rings. Let's frame, frame up a triangle here. He's been going for that triangle all night, but uh, I think Munoz is well aware of it. And he's been defending it very well. But, nope. He frames it out. Munoz framed that triangle out. Now he has the knee on the face, which is a very, very, very uncomfortable position. Stacking him. He ties the hands up. He has the crucifix from the back. Melina does well to turn around, but time is not on Melina's side. He needs to get up, and he needs to do something now if he wants to be champion. But Munio needs to do exactly what he's doing, which is to keep top pressure, keep adding, adding blows. Yeah, Munio's just smothering Melina this round, staying tight all over Melina, not allowing him to do too much of anything. Two minutes is a is, is a very short time for for looks for like these Malina, fights. Yeah, looks like Melina has that half butterfly, maybe looking for a sweep. It looks, it may look like Munio has or Melina has a arm in tri triangle. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see from this position. But I don't think time is on his hands. No, I definitely. think he needs to explode, either lock up a submission or explode, get up, and try to knock Munez out. But Munez is doing a perfect job, a brilliant job in keeping top position and raining bombs from, from the top. Jaime Munez putting on an MMA clinic here tonight at Dragon House 32 for the vacant. Oh, but Bantam Melina wait. has an armbar. Can he do the ice? Oh, oh almost. And Munoz is raining bombs. And I think that Jaime Munoz is now the Dragon House World Tour champion. Oh, there is definitely no doubt about that. Jaime Munoz just dominated all three of those rounds. And uh, Ulysses Molina uh, definitely looking a little disappointed. Definitely a little disappointed, but... Kudos to Jaime Munio, who came here and executed his game plan and put on a flawless performance in retaining and getting and crowning the, the Dragon House welterweight champion. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a great performance by uh, Jaime Moore Munoz, who advances now to his record to 7-1 and one and defeats the undefeated uh, Ulysses Molina now at 5-1. At and one. Great fight by both of these fighters. Like you said earlier, Munoz had a game plan and he executed it. Um, Ulysses just fell a little, little bit short. And uh, you know, hats, off, hats off to Ulysses Molina, put on a great show, but he could not keep the fight standing. And that's, that's basically where it went downhill for Ulysses Molina. But um, either way it goes, 
both of these guys have a great future in this sport. And uh, hats off to the both. Years later, Ladies I'm watching the same fighters at the events, UFC and Bellator. Our judges have rendered a unanimous decision. All three judges scored the fight 30 to 27 in favor of the winner and new Dragon House flyweight amateur champ in the blue corner, Jaime the Gentleman Mora. You know, the gentleman, I must say, was not very gentle tonight, but uh, congratulations to Jaime Munoz. Congratulations, he is now the new 170 pound Dragon House champion. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, man, I've seen a lot I of mean, fighters. Would you like to say something to your friends, family, fans, trainers, sponsors, well wishers? You want to say something to your fans? Oh, I just want to say that you could have been out of it for a long time. Thank you for everything you got to help me out the whole way. Congratulations, champ. Give it up for Jaime Mora. A very emotional. Dragon House's new flyweight champion in the amateur division.